Hello, Greg here, Instanet Solutions. I want to thank you for joining me for this short video on the Instanet Solutions Document Markup and Slicer tool. So now, new tool within the Documents section of both Transaction Files and Documents or DocBox within the Transaction Desk Service. We're going to select a PDF document, and from the I would like to drop that menu, slice select a document, markup select a document. To get this demonstration started, we're going to choose the option I would like to slice a selected document. We're going to select a few pages out of this combined document. We can deselect the pages, we can rotate pages, we can remove these pages, or we can save these pages as a smaller PDF document. We can save the document as, give the document a new name, or we can replace the uh, a transaction document or move this smaller document into a document placeholder if using the checklist tool. We're going to save this document as a smaller PDF document. We're going to give that document a name and save this smaller transaction document to our transaction file. So selected pages will be saved as a smaller PDF within our transaction file. But remember, we can rotate pages, remove pages, or save those uh, selected sets of pages as a smaller PDF. Upper third of the screen, we're to the markup tools. We're going to look at the markup tools within this uh, document. Plot text boxes, use a freehand line to uh, draw circular eclipses, rectangular highlights, a highlight tool. But in this beginning of the demonstration, a line draw. We're going to select that function, and we're going to use that function to click and hold, to drag a line, to strike over, release the mouse, to execute that line draw. Now we're going to plot a text, selecting the T for text tool in the upper third center, T for text. We're going to plot where we would like the text box to start typing. It's good to plot it in an open area to type the text box, type in the language, then drag it around. You can use those little squares around the perimeter to resize uh, those text boxes. We're also going to use the highlight tool here. We're going to select the highlight. Again, click and hold to drag that highlight over the area that you would like to cover using the small little squares around the perimeter to resize that highlight box within the uh, document markup markup tool to make those markups, annotations, and text boxes. Upper third of the screen, right-hand corner, we can save the changes uh, that we've made to this online document. We can save this document as, uh, rename it, save it as a new document within our transaction, or replace an existing document or placeholder, checklist placeholder with the document. In this case, we're just going to save the changes that we've made to this existing transaction document. We're going to click OK to, to save that change. A couple other features in the upper third right, zoom in, pages, and the options. Click on the options to expand that menu. You can see an undo feature there. Click to, to close that options menu. Exit, upper third right, exiting out of the document markup tool back to the documents section of our transaction file. Lower third of the screen, left-hand side, you can see the new document that we created. We saved it out of that larger combined document. Uh, we're also going to take a quick uh, look at the opportunity to rename. So a little eye icon to rename the document. We marked up this document. We just want to rename it to identify the changes that we made or just that it's a second revision or something to that matter. So you can rename the documents that you mark up. I want to thank you for joining me for this short video, the Instanet Solutions Document Markup and Slicer Tool. And we hope that you enjoy this new DocBox document enhancement.